There are a lot of art galleries and shops for antiquities here to the left. On the ground floor of old noble mansions, we called Hotel Particulier. You know the, the, the noble people before the revolution broke out, they were living in this area of San German in the fields because they were outside Paris here till the end of the 18th century. That was the countryside. Paris was not so big. But there was a road starting here going southwest to Versailles where the kings were living. That's why the noble people, they had a nice mansion by here. A lot of them are still private halls, but a lot of them now are art galleries or museums or embassies, ministries, hotels particulier, we say in fact. See the nice one on the left hand side at the corner. Saint Germain des Prés to the left is famous for the artists living there next to the Saint Germain Church, an old Romanesque church from the Middle Ages. So if you have a walk in this area to the left, you find the Café de Flore, Les Deux Magots, and, uh, and the Brocop. Anyway, oh la la, he is foolish, this man, to pass when it's not his turn. Ah, yeah, yeah, voila. All right. And on our left hand side now another famous museum called Musée d'Orsay, which was built in a what was first a railway station. So you see a classical facade with two big clocks, 1900 for the for the construction of the railway station, then abandoned, and uh, an Italian lady, uh, Signora Aulenti, uh, turned it into a museum in 1986. They kept the architecture of the railway station, but everything is modern inside. The entrance is here to the left and side, Musée d'Arsay, 19th century art. So if you like the Impressionist painters, you know Van Gogh, Claude Monet, Renoir, for example, you have to visit the Orsay Museum. In the Louvre Museum, which just passed by to the right, there are exhibitions from the, uh, from the antiquity, Egypt, Roma, Greece with the Venice of Milo, and then from the Middle Ages to the beginning of the